Hello King Gamers and welcome to another review. This time we have the Supernova Bluetooth speaker from Gravastar. So let's jump straight in. Gravastar never lacks imagination when it comes to cool futuristic products that look like they came to conquer humanity. Their latest offering is the Gravastar Supernova, and once again it's a Bluetooth speaker with an eye-catching design that even if it wasn't a speaker could just as well serve as a cool little decoration for your gaming room. I mean, just look at it, this little thing is coming for you and it doesn't care who gets in its way. But all jokes aside, the Supernova only partially shares the DNA of its predecessors when it comes to design. Starting from the bottom, it also features three robotic spider-like legs on which the entire speaker stands. Just like on the Mars Pro speaker, these legs are made from aluminium so they are very sturdy, being able to support and keep the speaker incredibly stable. They can also fold under to reduce the total height of the Supernova or to make it look better if you decide to hang it somewhere, which I'll discuss more later. Above that we have the main speaker housing, which is made from a combination of plastic and zinc alloy, making it relatively robust and seemingly able to withstand a few falls without issue. Unlike the Mars Pro speaker, the primary sound output point is located on its bottom side. The housing is also the segment of the supernova that is the richest in small details, significantly contributing to the overall futuristic industrial vibe of the entire device. There are some tiny tubes and cylinders, and even the USB-C and the headphone jack are designed to resemble exhaust ports on a spaceship. And of course, above the housing we have the speaker's main feature, this transparent plastic cylinder that houses a small LED lamp. The light here synchronizes with the small LED lights on the legs, making it the main wow factor of the speaker. While the light is not overly powerful and shouldn't be used as a main source of illumination, it sure as hell looks cool, being the literal cherry on top of the already great design. At the top of the lamp there are controls for playing and stopping music, adjusting the volume of the connected device and the button for changing the lighting. It's possible to set the supernova to statically glow in 8 different colors and there are also two special modes in which it will either flicker like a campfire or my personal favorite, the flow effect, where several colors seamlessly blend into one another. Now, I mentioned earlier that the supernova can be hung up, which is partly why the entire speaker weighs only 1 kilogram and why there's a bit more plastic used in its construction compared to the Mars Pro speaker. You see, included in the package is a small metal hook that can be screwed onto the top of the supernova, turning it into a stylish high-tech lantern. As I said before, the light isn't so bright that you'll be playing Urban Explorer carrying the supernova around, nor will you use it for general illumination. Instead, this is more of a convenient, albeit non-essential feature that allows you to hang the supernova in a more visible spot, making it an even bigger conversation starter than it already is. Having experienced a few Gravastar speakers, the Mars Pro absolutely excelled in the sound quality department and while Supernova still sounds amazing, it's a notch below its predecessor despite having a more powerful 25 watt speaker. While I can't say for sure, I think Gravastar sacrificed a bit of that sound quality in order to achieve the Supernova's design. While the Mars Pro has a round metal housing with a front-facing speaker, the Supernova is not as uniform in terms of housing and its speaker is directed downward. This means that the sound can bounce around the housing in a more chaotic manner and the quality can vary depending on the surface you place the speaker on. This is especially the case when you crank up the volume and trust me, the Supernova can get extremely loud. With that said, the sound still generally comes across as excellent and it can easily fill a larger room or be effectively used outdoors. It can get a bit bass heavy, but it handles all genres of music superbly, whether it's hip hop, pop, EDM or something else. Here, have a listen for yourself. Sometimes I get so mad there's no control in me, my thoughts get so bad I'm like, I might grab a bat, I don't know my rap, my blood boils over like... Oh god, here goes, I lost all feeling from my head to my toes You said some shit that I can't let go, so just stay tuned for the rest of the show Cause we retribution Oh yeah, we retribution Oh 
Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good in terms of connectivity, the Supernova connects to devices using Bluetooth 5.3, which ensures a fast and stable connection, good range and slightly better energy efficiency that positively impacts battery life. Speaking of that, the Supernova has a 3350mAh battery that in my testing lasted between 7-10 to 10 hours depending on the volume level and the lighting settings. The only downside here regarding the battery is the 3 hour charging time. Gravastar does sell a separate fast charger, but that would further increase the price of this already somewhat pricey speaker. Lastly, as with other Gravastar speakers, a cool feature is the ability to connect two of them for stereo sound. Now considering how great the thing sounds and how loud it can get, that would be a real party. In conclusion, the Supernova is yet another completely unique and very cool Gravastar speaker. At 179 US dollars, it's definitely not cheap, but I think it's worth the investment, because if its sound doesn't win you over, its design definitely will. After all, where else can you find a spider-like robot speaker with an LED lamp that will be a centerpiece of every party? If you like what you've seen in this video, as always, the product link will be included in the description down below. And also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to Keen Gamer for more reviews just like this one.